so welcome to part two of the top tips and I'm going to cheat a little bit and give you more than three. I'm going to give you five this time. Hi, I'm Cameron Patrick, head of screen music here at Afters. I came back to Sydney this year to take up the position after 30 years over in the US in Los Angeles. There I was fortunate to work both as a performer on violin and viola in the studios, playing on soundtracks for TV and film, as well as writing and that's composing and orchestrating for film and television as well. As an orchestrator I've been really fortunate to work for a number of big Hollywood movies over the last 10 years. Uh, Jurassic World, Star Trek Into Darkness, Inside Out, working for Mark Isham as an orchestrator on Once Upon a Time for ABC, which was a long-running series. And as a composer, I've also been really lucky to have a couple of really near and dear concert commissions over the last few years. One for the Camerata of St. John's Chamber Orchestra in Brisbane, and one for the Los Angeles Chamber Orchestra. And what we're going to talk about is how you compile and build the building blocks for your score. Ask yourself where. Where is the story set? And do you have to reference that geographical location somehow musically, either through some kind of use of ethnic instruments or through some research into harmonies and melodies from a geographical location that you may not be familiar with? Ask yourself when. Is the story set in a particular time period that you need to reference musically? Is it set 300 years ago? Is it set in the 60s? Is it set in the 80s? Do you have to tailor the music or come up with some particular musical traits to help anchor the story in a particular time period? Ask yourself who? And here it's who are the main characters, who are the protagonists, who are the antagonists, what are their relationships, what are their personality traits and characteristics. What can you do with the music to add layers of personality, history, psychology to the character that maybe doesn't come across in the script or that the storyteller doesn't have time to get across in the script, but that you can do musically uh, through the score. Ask yourself, what? So what is the emotional core of the story? Can you describe to yourself in a few words what is at the very dramatic heart of the story? Is it a story about redemption? Is it a look at the darkness of the human soul? Is it triumph over hardship? Can you melt down you know, the whole script into just a few core words that you can then fashion a theme or motif for the film around. Ask yourself the big question, which is why. A big part of asking yourself why is not just responding to something literal that's already on the screen. If it's already on the screen, you really don't need to mimic it in the music. What we're looking for is adding a layer of something unseen, something unspoken, something about the characters or the story that isn't necessarily obvious to the audience at that moment in the film, but it adds another layer of information and emotional reaction for the audience that you just can't get any other way. So it's really important to have sorted this stuff out in your mind and not just slapping something on like wallpaper, musical wallpaper if you will, just for the sake of having it there. It really needs to have a, a function and that function you need to have talked over with yourself and you need to have talked over with your director. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you go back and check out part one.